So here we are in a wheat field on Friday, April 28th, 2017, and we're doing some pre-scouting to prepare ourselves for a fungicide application to combat fusarium head blight, uh, a lot of people call it head scab, and um, the reason we're, we're targeting wheat now for that is that disease, the symptoms don't show up till later in the season, but in order to control it, we must be in front of it and that's during flowering on wheat. The reason that's important is it causes a, a, mycoto it's a mycotoxin that causes a dawn or a vomitoxin, which you get docked for at the elevator. So it's become a big disease over the last few years and one we wanna keep an eye on. So here we are in a wheat field and we're looking, this wheat field is at about 10, Feex 10.1. You'll see heads are starting to just emerge. As these heads get fully emerged, then they will begin flowering. When a wheat starts to flower, you'll see that the anthers start coming out and they start in the center of the wheat head and they'll be yellow. And then they progress up and down the, the head of the wheat and this is called flowering. So when these anthers start first coming out, as you'll see here, they've moved up and down the head but when they first start coming out is when we need to be targeting our application of a fungicide such as Presario or Caramba in order to get good control of head scab. The anthers will be yellow when they come out and as they age, they'll turn white and dry up. So again, our target application is when we start seeing anthers on 50% of the heads in a field and we're gonna make that, that application of fungicide. Now that application will also help control, in a lot of cases, maybe some flag leaf diseases and stuff like that, but it's critical, timing is very critical. Now we can be a little ahead of that and maybe even just a little bit late of, of that target, but we need to be as close as we can. With the rains coming in this weekend, coming from the south, we have a chance for this disease to come in. It travels in on the rains, it likes moisture. Uh, if you're walking wheat fields in the morning, your pants legs are getting wet, uh, we're at risk for it. There's actually a webs website, uh, www.wheatscab.psu.edu, it's a Penn State a site that shows our risk. But with the rains coming in, I think we're gonna be at high risk. So I wanna make sure everybody knows how to scout and look for this. Start making plans for applications. Before you make that application, walk your wheat fields, know what stage they're in, and also be looking for army worms. The counts are still high, not seeing any out here right now, but uh, something we need to be aware of too from that standpoint. So if you have questions, uh, get a hold of your Bex representative and we'll help you out. Have a great day.